Good afternoon. Wednesday, the nation's favourite butcher is back again. And today, it's all about massive chopper. My favourite drink of choice, Jackie D's. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this bottle of Jack Daniels. And this bottle of Jack Daniels. So we've got honey Jack Daniels and plain Jack Daniels. So first things first, while I'm just talking to you, what I'm going to do is muslin cloth. I'm just going to soak it. Give it a good soaking with Jack Daniels. Make sure it's all soaked all the way through. So that's the normal Jack Daniels. And then we've got a Honey, Jack Daniels honey. Get it in there. Give it a bit of soaking. Oh, it smells good, that you know. It does smell good. Soak it. Soak the muslin cloth, the cheese cloth, whatever you want to call it. Give it a bit of soaking. So what we're going to do is we're going to use sirloin steak, ribeye steak from this beautiful cow. It's beautiful effort. It is a Hereford. So the sirloin comes from here and your ribeye comes from here. Ribeye sirloins. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap these beautiful cuts of meat, ribeye steaks, sirloin steaks. We're gonna wrap them in the muslin cloth, soak them in Jack Daniels, and then we're gonna put them in our dry ager for four weeks. Four weeks they'll be wrapped in that cloth and they'll be in our dry ager. And oh my God, when they come out, they are gonna be sensational. They will be a sirloin and ribeye infused steak. We'll start with the ribeye. We're not gonna do anything to this. All I'm gonna do is just nick that bone off there. Only reason I'm gonna nick it off is because it will, uh, um, it'll sit better in dry ager. So we'll just saw this bone off. When I'm dry aging meat, I like to keep it as, as real as it can be, all fat on there, all bone on there. But it'll sit on this tray, just lovely. Ribeye. Now, do we think Jack Daniels or honey? I think honey for the ribeyes. I think honey. So, we're going to go in here and get a good dosage on. Okay. We'll lay that on as on cloth. She's had a good soaking now, look. I like to wrap that round when I get out of bath on an eye. Into the hole she goes. Jackie D's on there. So let's give it a good soaking. The honey, the honey, runny, honey. Muslin cloth. In she goes. And we just wrap. A wrapper, wrapper, wrapper. By wrapping a Christmas presents. Looking nice and tight. Nice and tight. Once it trays with us. But we don't want to waste it. We'll just pour it on there. And what I'm going to do is, I don't open dry ager very often, but when I do open dry ager, I'm going to get this, this juice and everything's come out and we'll put it back into it. So there you go. Ribeye steak. Infused with honey Jack Daniels. It smells lovely. I can assure you, she smells beautiful. The bit in there as well left me tea as well. Even if it's sale in a month's time, anybody interested in buying a couple of steaks, a couple of ribeyes, a couple of sirloins, you can tic tac message us, Facebook message us, just ring the shop. 
So, sirloin next. Let's have it down. Let's have it down. We don't need that. What we have to do is we have to take the fillet out. We don't need the fillet steak. I think anything dry aged is a lot better on the bone than it is off the bone. I've heard it here first at Slackies. I'm not lying, I'm telling you the truth. When things are hung, they're better hung on the bone than the off the bone. So we're we'll good out in the middle of that. We'll just sort it throat. Them two should sit just nice on there. Straighten ends up a bit, a little bit. Beautiful. So, Jackie D's. Have that cloth done. There should be two bits in here. There should be two bits in here. Just make sure she's had a good soaking. See, that smells like Jack Daniels now. So, I should have had a good soaking. We'll give these a, a good soaking here as well, in the middle. Make sure that there's any Jack Daniels on there. We'll not lose the cloth. Wrap it nice and tight. I'm gonna smell like a whiskey plant when I get onto that. Nice and tight up. And there we go. Take them just like that. Always put the fat to the top when we're dry aging. Make sure the air is hitting the fat. Again, muslin cloth. Soaked in Jack Daniels. Wrap it nice and tight. Nice and tight, she's better go. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. It smells stunning. It really does smell that nice. So, strap that under there, lot. Touch more over the top just to make sure. Make sure I leave myself a bit in there for my drink. There we go then, gentlemen. Ribeye, honey glaze, the Jack Daniels honey ribeye steaks, Jack Daniels, Hereford, sirloin steaks. This is gonna be ready in a month's time. If you want any, give me a shout. I'll put my name down, say give me one, one. Come to one side for you. Next week's video might be delayed. We might be on a Thursday. Don Castillo Farmers are coming around for a visit. I want to come and have a chat to us about butchering that, so we're going to film. But we're going to film your farmers coming around next week. So next Thursday will be live Thursday night by eight o'clock. I think is it eight nine o'clock somewhere around there. So next week's video will be a day later. So stay tuned in for that one. Into into his dry age, lot they'll go. We will leave them here now for a month. A month's time. We'll keep an eye on them. Watch it on Facebook on a Friday morning. I'll do a little video and see how see how they're turning out. Smell lovely. Jobs of fish.